Okay, I think I'm good. <coughs> I need a sip of water. I just dropped some water. <coughs> Bonjour everybody, it's your girl Imani and I'm back with another video. Surprisingly, it's been quite some time, it's actually been a few months since I've made a video and honestly I have no excuse. But I decided to start my channel back up for the umpteenth million thousand time, literally. My life is crazy, but I decided to, you know, do a story time slash like about me because this is my life this is not like some story that's made up this is real so if you guys can't tell by the title already that's where you know you clicked on this video or by my look i was kind of inspired by like korean like style but like with the black necklace and like the, i don't know like i kind of look vamp vamp life Okay, but I was kind of inspired. I did this look literally in like five minutes. I kid you guys not. If y'all want to, if y'all, if y'all want that, if y'all want a tutorial on this look, please comment down below because your girl did this. Like I said, I just did this in like five minutes. I just got done filming another video, so I'm gonna film this one so you guys get to watch me. Um, I'm coming back with a bang, baby. So if you guys are wondering, this is not my hair, by the way, and it's actually in a braid because I'm cute or whatever. Okay, but um, no, let's just get right into this story. This is um a true story. This is something that <sighs> something that affects me still to this day. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not crying. Um, but it's something that me and my family we can laugh at now because it's so hilarious. It's so crazy that as children we come up with the most ridiculous stories, but they're so funny. Oh, hold on, I have to burp. Uh, excuse me. Okay, so let's just get started. So when I was younger, my mom used to work the night shift, and um, during the night shift, she would drop me off at my aunt's house um or my uncle's house and my uncle was a huge like horror movie fanatic he loved watching scary movies so obviously your girl got hooked and i would say from the time my mom dropped me off um we stayed up and um so we were up all night and then we slept during the day and then once my mom came and got me i came home and i would sleep all throughout the day my brother and my sister were still in school at the time so i was the only one that was not in school meaning kindergarten so um or yeah it was kindergarten um so i remember underworld came out you guys know with celine and um i was obsessed with underworld i mean you call them people obsessive over movies. I was obsessed with Underworld. I was obsessed with Resident Evil, like those characters that had like superpowers and that were like mystical, but I was so stuck on Celine. And so I remember um, one day my aunt, she tricked me and her name is Aunt Shorty and my cousin Avail. And they tricked me because you guys know you have canine teeth, right? Like gray hair and you have right there i think that's what they're called i'm not sure exactly what the true fact is uh or the true name <laughs> i'm not sure what the true name of what you call your canine teeth but i guess they're called canine teeth but theirs are you know some people are super sharp theirs were super like vampire -y. so i really believe them so they were, came up to me one day and were like you know we're vampires and i remember the house was always like very like the curtains were always up during the day so there was barely like any daylight coming in and the little daylight it was it was peeking through the curtains not like coming straight through the um, window so um of course little me fell into the trick and they convinced me that i was a vampire too now i had at this time also disney channel had came out with the little vampire i don't know if you guys ever seen that movie but it's like where the little boy learned how to whistle and that's where i learned how to whistle also but just these movies that kept coming out about little vampires and it was such a huge influence in my life surprisingly because i did have an excuse i 
stayed up during the night and I literally was asleep all day <laughs> and it got so bad you guys so every time I went over at my aunt's house and it was me and my cousin Abel we were like play like tricks and like do like fighting scenes and things like that you know play fight of course because he was a little bit older than me so he knew that vampires aren't real but of course you know me and my naive mind I I, I couldn't come to terms with the fact that vampires aren't real well you know the vampires in underworld aren't real and that um you're not a vampire girl you are definitely able to walk into the sunlight but i came up with an excuse i had a special power see i had a special power that allowed me to walk in the sunlight so i had this whole storyline of how i became a vampire and so it got so you guys so i would literally like jump like in the kitchen on the counters and like jump from like the counter to the floor and like to the chair onto the table like i i kid you guys not i would literally like pounce like a cat like i was literally stalking somebody it it was so crazy because you would really think that i was a vampire because i really acted like i was a freaking vampire um it got you guys this is how bad it was I used to take, you guys know, Kool-Aid or Fruit Punch or any like red type of drink. I used to take that and I used to say I was drinking blood. Yeah. I really wanted to be a vampire so bad. In Halloween, we didn't go trick-or-treating a lot, but like um, sometimes, you know, my friends would have Halloween stuff or like people at my school would give like me stuff from Halloween and they always had like the vampire teeth. You know, the ones where you put them in your mouth and you pretend like you have, oh, when I got those during Halloween, you could not tell me that I was not Celine. Mm -mm. You could not tell me that I was not a vampire. I mean, that vamp life, you know? So, I used to be a vampire. Um, It's a very sad story because just like learning that, you know, about Santa I learned about Santa very young probably too young before preschool so that just shows you my mindset so imagine being a vampire or you think you were for some time now and getting older and realizing vampires don't walk in the sunlight vampires don't eat um, vampires drink real blood <laughs> And um, you're not a vampire. You're clearly human. And uh, so every time I went over my aunt's house and my uncle's house, it was always the, you remember when you used to think you were a vampire joke? And everybody would make fun of me. I used to hiss at people. I mean, like, <sighs> at people. Like, that was me. Oh. I can't believe I'm going on camera and telling you guys this. This is so embarrassing, like, but I'm so all for it. I still love the Underworld series. I still love like characters like her. I still am obsessed. I still stay up all night and sleep throughout the day, but I do it less often now because you know I'm in high school, so you know I have to get up and I have to do my schoolwork, but I don't really want to. But this was a long, long time ago, and I thought it was a really fun story to tell you guys. Um, and just to get you guys to know, like, my mentality, my personality. Ooh, she just rhymed. <clears throat> and by the way, if you guys are wondering why I keep clearing my throat and why I drank some water before I started this video, it's because <laughs> your girl's been sick for, like, four weeks now. And it got better, and then it got worse. So, obviously, vampires don't get sick either. You know, they're just dead. And I had to realize that, you know, um, I'm pretty much alive, you know. I think the blood is going through my veins. Um, but yeah, that was a story of um, when I used to think I was a vampire. I mean, there's so much influence in the world. I think you could be whatever you want to be. You can portray whatever character you want to portray. But you guys don't take it to the extreme. Don't be going around trying to bite people like I did. Don't be drinking Kool-Aid saying it's blood. Don't be like hiding from the sun, literally hiding from the sun. Don't be hopping on counters because you can accidentally hurt yourself. I mean, it was like, and I don't know why I did the Spider-Man thing. Like I would not stop doing the Spider-Man thing. I always did the Spider-Man and I just like a cat. 
And I really like, I would watch like cats hiss at people and I would like copy them. Oh, and Blade was another one. My mom had like all of the Blade movies and she was obsessed with Blade and it was no help that Blade walked in the sunlight and he was half human, half vampire. That's where I got my ideas from. But um, just, I just want to say to you guys, um, if you ever have children in the future, please do not tell them that they are a fairy or a vampire or any character that they want to be because it's very heartbreaking when you have to, to come to realization that you're really not that. You know, you're just a regular old girl. I'm just Armani. Um, a, a very strange girl who thought she was a vampire for a few months. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's a pretty embarrassing time in my life, I think. But it's, it's funny and every time like we like have family conversations and talks and stuff, it's always one of those little, hey everybody, remember when you used to be a vampire? type of situation. It's like, yeah, a little black little girl who grew up on the north side, you know, how she thinks she was a vampire from the hood, like a vampire from the hood. <laughs> just kidding. But I hope you guys like this story. It was pretty short. I tried to make it like shorter um, because there's a lot that happened, you know, in between that span of me thinking I was a vampire. But um, yeah, still to this day, my sleep schedule is messed up. I mean, like messed up. Like I can sleep like, I can go to sleep like regular time, like 10 o'clock, wake up, 8 o'clock and be fine. But there are those weeks where I just, like today, I have not been to sleep. I literally slept all day yesterday. I was praying because my mom might hear me and I told her I slept but I really wanted to sleep. And so I'm running off of two cups of coffee and a couple of noodles. So, um, yeah. That is my story time about how I used to be a vampire. And hopefully you guys laughed. Hopefully you guys, hopefully there's somebody out there who was a little vamp like me and um, really believed that they were vampires. I believe that, you know, people want to be vampires, but <laughs> I'm not going to that extreme to be no vampire. Nope, mm -mm. your girl is gonna be fine saying a girl and uh, just chilling pretty much. Um, but yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you guys like this story time. Um, and also comment down below with like, who used to be, like, you used to be like a cowgirl, a fairy, a princess, like, what was your, like, thing when you were younger? Um, currently I'm going to be 17 in a few days, actually, like, two or three weeks from now. So, um, it's been quite some time, it's probably been 10 years since I used to think I was a vampire, so, um. Just think that I still remember that it shows that the impact it had on me um, and also you guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel feel free to subscribe become a part of the family because your girl is homeschooled and she needs some friends because obviously I'm a weirdo <laughs> and um, no but seriously um, I would love it if you guys subscribe to my channel share it with your friends because I need friends and we need family why not be a family together and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload, but you know, I'm just not starting back up. I don't know if you really, <laughs> if you want to hit the button, hit the button. Also, if you guys want to follow all my social medias, like my Snapchat, my Twitter, my Instagram, it's all going to be down below because I don't want to edit this video too much because, um, that's not like me, like me, like me. Um, so yeah. I love you guys. Uh, uh, I'll see y'all in my next video. And uh, peace this wig, y'all. I made this wig, by the way. <laughs> y'all want to see me make another wig or like transform a wig? It's coming. <clears throat>
Now I'm the one that she won't forget And maybe she's the one I forever regret And I guess it makes sense that we can't be friends